Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this Photoshop manipulation effect. So without much ado, let's get started. So to follow along, there's a link in the description below. Please download so you can follow along. So the first thing that we have is the background that we're going to work with. So I'm going to go ahead to bring in the second image that I'm going to apply in the sky. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into our image and I'm just going to move it up and set it right there. And I'm going to go ahead to reduce the opacity. Click on the layer max icon to add a new layer. Now I'm going to go ahead to pick up my brush tool. You want to make sure your foreground is black with layer max, black hides, white reveals. And since we want to hide, we want to make sure we pick the black. Now with your brush, if your brush head is too big, reduce it by clicking on your left or right bracket. And we can go ahead and just begin to paint in this area just to hide, take the opacity all the way to 100. We are going to go ahead to scale it a little to fill up the sheet, just like that. I'm going to go ahead to add a layer max. So click on the layer max icon to add a layer max. Pick up your brush tool and we are going to go ahead to do the same thing. We are going to brush over to just hide and reveal some areas. So I'm just going to go ahead to basically do the same thing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in this image and we are going to double click to accept. I'm going to pick up my eclipse and I'm going to go ahead to just make a selection around this. I'm going to click on via and make a copy. Click on the image, add a layer max. Now we are going to pick up our brush again and with our flow at 100%, we are going to go ahead to do something like that. I'm going to go ahead to turn on my moon and I'm just going to move that and set that somewhere here like that. I'm going to pick up my brush with my foreground as black. I'm going to go ahead to add a layer max and I'm going to right click to pick up the heart rounded and I'm just going to gauge in my moon and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this portion. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in and I'm going to rotate and set it somewhere here double click and we are going to change the blend mode of this to screen so we basically lose the background and i'm just going to go ahead to rescale so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to click on the moon that we have we're going to make a copy Command J. I'm going to right click to delete the layer max for this one. Now I can click on this moon and set that somewhere here. And I'm just going to go ahead to reduce it like that. Now I want to go ahead and add a solid color to make this moon red. So go to your adjustment, add a solid color, pick up a red. And we are going to go ahead to click OK. Now we want to clip it to our image. So Hold down your option, clip it to just that image, and we are going to go ahead to change the blend mode to linear burn. So I'm going to click on my um, color fill, and I'm going to reduce the opacity so we have something like that. So we're going to go ahead and click on our moon. We want to add a curves adjustment. So go under your uh, adjustment layer, and choose curves 
Now we want to make this bright, but before we do that, we want to click this layer to the moon layer. So we'll just click on this icon. We're going to go ahead to increase the brightness of this and set it to something like that. Now, so next we are going to click on the half moon, right click, and we are going to just say apply layer max. So now when you hold down command and you make a selection, it's only making a selection of the moon. We are going to add a new layer and we are going to make sure that we choose a honey mustard color. And with our paint bucket, we are going to fill that in. I'm going to go ahead to add a layer max, pick up my brush tool. I'm going to do something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match these three, the moon and the color that we added in our curves adjustment. I'm going to right click and match all three and we are going to make a duplicate command J make a duplicate and the duplicate layer. We are going to give it a blur effect. So I'm going to go to filter blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to make sure that I set my Gaussian blur at um, 20.4 and I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So you have this glow effect, which is happening on the moon just going to drag this image which is a shooting star and we're going to set it somewhere here like that we want to scale it down so we are just going to hold one end now we need to change the blend mode of this to screen so if you look at the shooting star that we brought in you see that there's a little line that we see here we don't want that so pick up your eraser and we're just going to go ahead to paint around it to basically hide all of that white so we just have our shooting star we are going to drag in this image we are going to go ahead to scale it like this and i'm going to set it somewhere here like that i'm going to increase it a little now we need to move this layer all the way to the top so that is at the very top now we are going to change the blend mode of this to multiply we are going to drag in this image now it has a lot of busy background so to make it easier for photoshop to detect and cut out what we don't want we are going to go ahead to use our lasso tool to make a quick selection so with our selection in place you're going to right click and say copy via and we are going to click on the original image just hit delete so we're going to click on our image go under quick action and we can see remove background so we are just going to take off the background and notice that we do have some imperfection on the legs but we don't have to worry about it because it will not be visible from where we have our subject so i'm going to set our subject right there so it's like our subject is sitting on the moon. Make sure you are on the thumbnail of your image. Hold down command, make a selection of that. Now come back on the new layer that we created. Click and set our defaults to black and white. Click on that and then let's choose somewhere in the grayish. Now we are going to pick up our brush tool and reduce your brush head. And we are just going to basically do a little dab like that. And we are going to go ahead to change the blend mode of this. To now beneath hair, we have to show hair a little lighter. So I'm going to click on this, get my eraser. And I'm just going to go ahead to basically erase this area because her leg is close up to the light. On the bottom so we have something like this click on that layer and I'm going to take the opacity down a little so that the shadow is not too much so with this set we want to click on our top image go ahead and add a curves adjustment and we are going to take this down a little so we have something like that 
and I'm going to go ahead to also add a channel mixer. So go under your adjustment, choose a channel mixer. Now, So the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to go ahead and pick up our rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer and we are going to draw where we want our horizon to. I'm going to pick up my bucket and with my foreground as white, I'm going to fill this in with white, command D to D select, go ahead to click on my background image, which is the moon. And I want to add a little bit more detail of the mountain to the lower mountain so we can see it much better. So I'm going to go under my spot healing brush, pick up my patch tool, and I'm just going to make a selection. Now I can move this so that we can get some of the details of the mountain above. So with this set, we are going to go ahead to create a reflection of our image. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead to increase, to enlarge our canvas. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to pick up my crop tool and I'm just going to go ahead to increase it like this. I'm going to go to the top layer and we are going to make a copy. So hold down shift option command e and it will make one file for us now i'm going to use my marquee tool and i'm just going to go ahead to make a selection of the bottom and just delete that we are going to go ahead to flip this image and to do that go under edit and just go to transform and click on flip vertical so with this set, we are just going to move this and set this on the bottom like that, that we're going to click on our image and we want to go ahead and add a motion blur to our image. So I'm going to go to filter and choose blur and choose motion blur. Now you notice that I have my angle at a 90 and my distance at 22. So I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now, if you don't want to see this blur effect, we have to basically pick up our Eclipse Marquee tool and basically cut out this area so we don't see it. So with this set, we need to create a ripple water texture to apply it to our image. So to do that, we have to create a whole new file. So go to file and go ahead and click new and we're going to change our dimension to inches and we are going to create a width of 6 and a height of 10 and you want your resolution to be at 72. Go ahead and click on create. Now we are going to click on our bucket, flip our foreground to black, fill that in. Now we need to go to blur and we are going to add noise. So click on noise and say add noise. Now we wanna make sure that we click on, on unified and you wanna choose monochromatic. Make sure that your amount, your amount is all the way to 400. Go ahead and click okay. Now let's go under the channels, click on the red channel and go under filter and go to sterilize and emboss. Now we want to create, um, we want to change the angle to 180 and you want to make sure your height is at one and your amount is at 500%. Go ahead and click okay. 
Now click on your green channel and we're going to repeat the same thing. So go on the filter, sterilize, and then go to emboss. And this time change the angle to 90. Go ahead and click OK. Now you want to click on your green, your RGB to highlight everything. Now click back on your layer. Go, you want to go under edit, transform, and choose perspective. Now we're going to zoom out and you're just going to hold one end and stretch it like that. And we are just going to double click and zoom in. And this is what we have, ripple water effect. We need to save this as a PSD file. So go to file, click on save as. Now you can basically go look for a good location where you want to save this. I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead to hit save and I'm just going to click OK. You want to go back to your image. We need to go and apply this image as a displacement map. So click on your filter, go to distort and click on displace. Make sure that your displacement map, you choose stretch to fit and repeat add pixel. Change our horizontal to five and our vertical to five. And we're gonna go ahead to click and look for the file, double click and there we go. Now I'm going to pick up my marquee tool. I don't want that white line. So I'm just going to delete that command D to D select. Now click on your image and move that fit to the very top like that. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. So we basically get rid of the white and we are going to move our image up like that. We're going to go ahead and add a channel mixer. So click on the top image and go ahead and click and add a channel mixer. Now we are going to go ahead to play with the different channels. Now, the next thing we're going to do is click on your move tool and we are going to go ahead and look for the line that we added. Now I'm going to go to filter and blur, gush and blur. We're going to add a blur motion effect to this and it's going to look something like that. And I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my top image, go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to go ahead to create my foreground and background as black and white. Pick up my gradient tool. It's a two tone from black to white. And I'm just going to go ahead, holding down my shift, I'm going to draw a straight line like that. And we need to change the blend mode of this to screen so that the top portion is much lighter and the bottom is much darker. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opacity and we are going to go ahead to reduce it like that. So we are going to go to the bottom image, hold down command, make a selection of the thumbnail and come make a selection of the thumbnail, come up to the new layer, click on your foreground. Now we're going to pick a blue ish color and we're going to click OK. And we are going to pick up our bucket and fill that in. And we are going to go ahead and change the blend mode of this. And we're going to set this on soft light. I'm going to go ahead to reduce the opacity just a little. So we do have this blue tint, which is on the water, but the sky is much, much brighter. Go to adjustment and add a channel mixer. Now we want to go ahead and increase so that we can get the richness in the final piece. So we are just playing with the channel. Now, if you don't want it on the bottom, all we need to do is click on the thumbnail, pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. We can basically take it down in this section. So the brightness is at the very top. So we have something like this guys this brings us to the end of this lesson i hope you enjoyed this photoshop manipulation effect please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all